How's it going everyone? Jkicked VX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Today we have another exclusive car video, although it's a little bit different this week. This week, not only do we get access to an exclusive car as usual, we also get an exclusive suit, and for once, it's actually a pretty cool one. Many of you may have seen my recent video, which was all about the new update, and I mentioned that we are getting a Ken Block racing suit, and that is now available for free in exclusive championship for the next week, and that's all we're going to be talking about in today's video. I'm going to show you which championship you need to do, how you can do it quite easily to unlock the Ken Block racing suit and the hat, as well as the exclusive car as well, which is a TVR Tuscan S 2001, which is a pretty cool classic sports car. Sounds pretty nice, to be honest. So let's just jump straight into it. If you want the Ken Block racing suit and the Ken Block hat, you need to complete this championship right here, which is on the right hand side of the map. There are actually only two events you need to do in this and they're pretty relatively easy. And you do them all in the Gymkhana 9 Ford Focus RS. You have to win the championship on expert difficulty to unlock the suit and the hat. It's not that hard to be honest and I'm going to explain why now. The two races which are in the championship are actually community made races like one of us for example have made this race and Playground Games have chosen them and put our own race in this championship. Meaning that because they're community raid races they have some issues. Now one of the issues on one of the races there's quite a few corners where all of the driver tars pretty much guarantee miss the checkpoint so you can very easily get straight up to first place on this expert difficulty just because these driver tiles really do struggle on community made races i'm sure you'll see at some point i'm going to put the clip on screen right now of the racing question the driver tiles just they just overshoot the checkpoint and there's several corners like this on each of the races you don't need to tune on the hoonigan to win this championship it's very easy stick on expert difficulty do the sprint race do the races and it's honestly very easy to win and after that, you will unlock the Kenlock racing suit straight away. It's a pretty cool suit. I'm going to have a look at it now. It's actually a suit that I'm going to wear for a little bit, because why not? Now, unlike the exclusive cars, this obviously isn't going to be available in the auction house after this week. So if you don't do this championship this week, it could be near impossible to get this Kenlock racing suit ever again, unless they bring it back in the future, which they probably will. But do this while you can. Trust me. So you go to the championship I showed you, bang on some expert difficulty, take it steady, it's not hard to win, especially with the messed up corners which come quite regularly, and you can quite easily win. Now I'm going to talk about the exclusive car that is also available this week only. This car will be in the auction house after this week, but I wouldn't rely on it. So, the TVR Tuscan S, a very classic 2001 supercar or sports car it sounds quite nice it's got a quite nice engine sound which is you know quite good for horizon 4. this car is actually obtained through a street race championship that you will see here on the map this has three races in but all three of them are street races so they're sprint races and they're very quick and very easy to win you do these in super saloons you can use any super saloon car i use the porsche uh, panamera i think i used I'm sure you've got loads of super saloons in your garage, just pick any of them and just, you know, do the races. You have to do it on expert difficulty again to win the TVR, but to be honest, it's really not hard to win those either. Once you complete all three races, you'll get given the TVR. So stick on your Klembot racing suit, jump in the TVR, and then you are now the proud owner of two exclusive items which are only going to be available for this week especially the suit please grab this while you can if you're looking for any tips and tricks on either of the five races you'll have to do three for the car and two for the um, suit when you're using the hoonigan don't use your brakes so much you can smash that thing around the corners because it's built to do that it's built to kind of drift and you know and as I said, because they're community made races, there's a couple of flaws. They're good races, but there's a couple of flaws which obviously throw off the driver task completely, which gives you the, um, the, the massive advantage, to be honest. It's quite overpowered. So don't worry about finishing first on Expert for the Hoonigan. It's very easy. As for the TVR, as long as you pick the right car, I'd recommend the Porsche like I did. That was very easy. You, you'll, you'll do it easily, and then you'll own them both for free. So yeah, thank you very much for watching everyone. Thank you very much for 94,000 subscribers. We're only 6,000 subscribers away. 
on the big 100,000. Now I'd like to say a quick look at something about my uploads recently. I have got so many video ideas in mind for Forza Horizon 4 still. However, I am kind of holding off doing some of the big ones because I'd like to get to 100k first. I don't want to milk all of my good ideas, get to 100k and then think, oh right, what shall I do next? I'm going to take it steady, I'm going to continue to do uploads like this until we're around 100,000 subscribers and then I'm going to kick out some real good big uploads. Really start taking everything seriously from 100k. We'll start doing more streams again on Twitch and everything. As for YouTube streams, you know I love doing those, but because of how stupid the algorithm is, it just messes everything up. So I'm holding off for those for now. But yeah guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all later.